Come on to you, uh, Gemini's out here. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and then you, Gemini's, have the Wheel of Fortune. You, Gemini's, got some business interactions. You, you got some business plans. A lot of you, Gemini's, are looking to make some more money later on in the future. I'm seeing a lot of you, Gemini's, are investing in a business or some form of asset because a lot of you, Gemini's, like I've been talking about over the past couple of weeks, a lot of you have been making very wise decisions from not hanging around with exes, right? From not hanging around with wild friends or any of that type of stuff, anybody that would hold you back. And now you Gemini's happen to be here in a position where you are actually investing in assets so that you don't have to work as hard like I've been talking about. So, now you Gemini's are in a better position where you're actually starting to understand what I was talking about when I say that your life is going to get a lot better. You just have to be very patient. Then you have the page of uh, swords and the um, three of wands. So the page of swords and the three of wands right here represents how a lot of you are um, aware that, you know, life can go on by. You know, some people let life go on by. They don't ever actually really invest in anything. You know, they don't have, ever take advantage of the fact that they're young and, and they have a certain, they are expected to have a certain amount of time. And the Three of Wands represents you, Gemini's, are taking this new found level of peace that you have as a sign to actually start, you know, thinking things long term, you know, and that, you know, things are going to work out for you. So a lot of you Gemini's have time now to now actually start doing some of the things that you want. Sometimes these friends that you can be in your life can literally be in the way. They can stand in the way, literally, because, you know, like I said, because <clears throat> you have different things, <clears throat> excuse me, you have different things that you essentially want to dedicate your time to. And some of those things that you may want to dedicate your time to is your friends, right? But it, but again, everything is a chunk of time. So it's like, okay, let's just say specifically an hour. The time that you could have spent investing in this business or an asset, whatever kind of brings more money to you, you didn't do that. You hung out with your friend, right? So it is a matter of, of choices. You're trying to be a good friend and everything, but... They just wanted to occupy so much of your time. They like they like your style. They like hanging around you. But then at the same time, they're mess ups and they can't stop being a mess up. Now that you Gemini's don't have them in your life, now it's you're hopeful because you actually have the space to do all the things that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. And then the page of Pentacles and the tower right here represent how so a lot of you are in a situation where, um, you know, a lot of people that know you, they see the big changes in you. And for the people that are, are scared or afraid of you making these big changes, yes, some things are going to have to change. You're not going to have all the time in the world to hang around a bunch of knuckleheads that you know are knuckleheads. You actually have other things that you've got going on and they can't expect anything less than that so there's definitely a sense of loss there's a sense of something that needed you know what i mean like something that needed to have happened for a very long time and that you gemini's are not going to allow anyone or anything to get in the way of of you doing the things that you've been wanting to do for the longest time because you gave everybody else your time but you never gave yourself your time and the Three of Cups now represents, and if they don't understand that, then they're gonna have to get lost. You know, if they if they can't forgive you for it, if they can't forgive you for the fact that you Gemini's are learning to put yourselves first, then they're gonna have to stay away from you. <clears throat> the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords represent because this is only really the first layer of heartbreak that they're gonna experience. You know, they're going to be even more upset or uptight later on down the road 
as things start to become a lot better for you, depending on how far you Geminis want to take this thing. Some of you Geminis may take this entrepreneurial business, you know, this entrepreneurial asset buying, accumulating of asset thing all the way to wherever, just because, because you like it. And that habit could potentially get you rich. But, you know, the point that I'm trying to make here with that is your lifestyle is going to essentially change. Certain things about your lifestyle is going to change. Now, certain things should remain the same, but certain things about your lifestyle is going to change, like the people that you hang around. You're not, you're not going to even want to hang around a bunch of people that can ruin your money up for you. So... You know, let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Come on now. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune. There you go. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Nine of Wands. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Who you Geminis are versus who, how you used to be. A lot of people are scared. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even gonna lie. A lot of people are afraid. They're afraid of, you know, the fact that you Geminis are doing your thing. They are afraid of it because they, they see you Geminis not having essentially time for them anymore because they won't keep up. Really, they won't keep up. Because if they kept up with you, you would have time to socialize with them, but you have the time management because your life is changing. Different things in your life is, you know, different circumstances are coming up. So like I said, like what Nipsey Hussle used to say, not everybody can go. And it's the truth. But that's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 100K subs. Listen, leaving comments help. Smashing that subscribe button. Um, leaving likes definitely help. Uh, you know, also to come and get readings, come and get the uh, birth chart readings, come and get the tarot readings, come and get the merch, come and get the books that I have that are on Amazon. All of that can be found in the link in the comment section below. Link tree link, right? It'll redirect you to which one you want. Peace.